welcome back. Today I'm a little bit behind everybody on a trend, and that is the mystery Oreos. Now I've heard that everyone thinks they taste like Fruity Pebbles. So not only did we have to order the mystery Oreos, I had to source some Fruity Pebbles because it wasn't good enough for me to try these and try Fruity Pebbles. I thought I'm going to make Fruity Pebble Oreos and see if these actually taste like Fruity Pebble Oreos. I had these out on the counter while I was making the Fruity Pebble Oreos and Man Friend had a less than kind review of them. I, I swear to God, that's urinal puck smell number one. That's, that's it. Like, uh, the only thing it needs is some urine. I, I don't, I can't put that in my mouth. But I figured I've come this far, I will still make my Fruity Pebble Oreos. So what I did is I took regular Oreos from the store and the inside cream out. After that, I microwaved it just for a few seconds to soften it up a little bit. Then I crushed up Fruity Pebbles and mixed the two together, rolled them back into Oreo flatness, put them back in a cookie, and da 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 da! Fruity Pebble Oreos! Actual mystery Oreos. I mean, it doesn't smell like what I think a urinal box <laughs> smells like. There's definitely a fruit flavor to them in the smell. It doesn't smell like a fruity pebble at all. Now I'm getting the bathroom taste. Yeah, these just have like a fake, undescribable fruity citrus floral. These aren't good. Uh-uh. I will compare it to my actual Fruity Pebble Oreo that I made, which frankly looks delicious with all the colors. Smells different. Mm. That tastes good. Much fruitier, like fruit punch, fruit loop flavor than No, that's gross. You know why it's a mystery? because they made a flavor and it was disgusting and they needed to sell 100,000 packages. And I'll say too, obviously, uh, these don't actually taste like Fruity Pebbles because this is an Nabisco product and this is a Post product. So why would Nabisco make a flavor of another brand and promote that brand? That's foolish. They're gonna promote either a flavor they own or it's some flavor they've made up to make hype. Also, I just read the contest rules. It doesn't matter what you guess. The submission that you put in is put into a random draw for the winner. So you only win $50,000 by being a sucker and buying these. And technically you don't even have to buy these. There's no code. You just text mystery to this and follow the link to enter. You don't actually have to buy the Oreos to be put into the contest. Well, it's a good lesson in why you always read the rules and loopholes. So thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. You can check out tons of other videos I have about trying different Oreos from around the world, as well as different snacks and the weird and wonderful things I make myself. And I'll see you next time.